Good day everyone. I am Cheryl Lipo Dagoman, BSA 3B English. For now, I will tell you what is cyberbullying and cyber harassment. Cyberbullying is bullying that occurs online, often through cyberbullies messaging, text messages, emails, and social network. Cyberbullies may be the same age as the victims or they may be older. If the perpetrator is an adult, it is generally called cyberstalking or cyber harassment. That's all. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this time, I will show you the example of cyberbullying. For example, of that is sending messages. For the life of the student, it's my example cases because there are a lot of students uh, doing a cyberbullying. For example, in reporting system. Within the reporting system, if the reporters fill the reporting system, the rest of the group will blame the reporter. They can author a different discrimination word using the digital devices, saying you are such a slow learner or you didn't even know how to do the reporting system. And those words will make the victim of cyberbullying a stress and depression. To be aware of that, we need to think first or consider the feelings of the victims of the cyberbullying. We need to think first before we click our digital devices. And that's all. Thank you. Good day everyone, I am Charmy Riputik Alman. My assigned task is all about plagiarism. So what is plagiarism? Plagiarism is using someone else's words without uh, giving them a proper credit in your essay. It is determined stealing another works that make your own without their consent that makes sure you lack of knowledge so as we all know most of students using uh, plagiarism so uh, there are the example of plagiarism when you had a current English teacher last year then she gives you one of your essay that received a B plus of you then you make a few changes and submit it another example so you copy a few sentences in the internet and forget to add a citation step so these are the step avoiding plagiarism so always write a source then a few words then ideas that are not yet on second make your original ideas and opinions and two is paraphrase that all good day everyone my name is daisy p magallanes from bsed 3b so plagiarism is copying without the acknowledgement of the authors or without the proper citations or mentioning the main origins of the ideas or language so the plagiarism is a thief and it has a lot of consequences so in order for us to avoid consequences there are steps to avoid plagiarism so the first step of plagiarism is never copy and paste the materials into your work the second one is always use quotation mark when copying the works of others so, so by this you always be able to tell which information you have taken directly from the source or the information from the internet so the next one is paraphrase correctly so when you are presenting the ideas of others into your work we should include citations or the referencing to acknowledge the real authors of the works or the owners of that ideas so the next one is um, don't take the chance why because there are apps that can uh, directly predict plagiarism so <clears throat> because if you didn't know where the piece of information came from or what stores is it so it's better to avoid it or not to use it because if you still use it there might be you can you can face a lot of consequences 
and most especially uh, your grades will reduce the last one is keep a list of the source that you use when you are researching or researching your topic so by this you can include all the source that you use in your research or in your topic even you are not directly quoted from them or the authors of that text Play me. Play me.